So, uh, let's put it this way. I'm going to make another six minute video here on this stupid little camera that has very bad uh, exposure uh, for video and crap. So, let's just get this over with. Uh, I've been sick with the flu for the last uh, couple weeks. So then I've been itching to make a video. Uh, right now, I have this pointed at my dual uh, the dual Opteron box, which uh, for some reason or another, with, after the past couple weeks, I don't know what I did or how I did it, but now it's blue screening, giving me uh, 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 07D or boot up, whatever crap. I don't give. I'm just going to wipe it, reinstall. It's an error with something with accessing the hard drive or something. Hard drive might be going bad. I don't know. I'm just going to reinstall and see what the hell happens. Uh, this is something that I picked up for $7.50. Down from $10, it was 25% off at the thrift shop. Uh, this is something I picked up while I was sick. Uh, because I thought I was doing better and I actually wasn't. I, I was actually running a fever of 102. And, uh, not so much, uh, not so much good happens when you're running a fever of 102. Let's put it that way. Uh, so you can see there's a big, nice, heavy heat sink on this. Uh, this is an IBM, uh, 814111U, which is an IBM Think Center M51. Uh, this is an LGA775 board with DDR1 memory, which is something of a rarity. Uh, I know that they did that all for a lot of the boards when LGA 775 first became available. So this is a very early 775 board that uh, IBM has in this machine. Uh, however, although it has older memory and uh, it's one of the first uh, 775 sockets, it does not cease to amaze for it has an X16 and an X1 PCI Express slot as well as a couple uh, PCI slots here, as you can see. Uh, you can see that it has its DDR revision 3.3 or something. You see the, uh, the nice IBM logo there. Uh, uh, under the heatsink is a Pentium 4 630, which is a Prescott 2M 3 gigahertz, I believe. Uh, 2 megs of cache, hence 2M in the Prescott name, and 800 megahertz uh, frontside bus. Uh, it originally came with a uh, first generation uh, Prescott 775 chip, 2.8 gigahertz, same uh, front side bus, but only a mega hash. And those are only 32 bit compatible, from what I'm understanding. The two M's are 64 bit compatible, so that's why I put it in here. Uh, now, this board has an Intel 915GM, which is like GMA 900 on board. Uh, so, it's <coughs> pretty much a pile of crap without a, uh, an aftermarket graphics card, if you're going to be using it for anything. Uh, it came with half a gig of memory. I put in two more gigs for two and a half gigs, which is filling up all slots. Uh, I borrowed memory from uh, the MSI board with the Athlon. No, actually, it's got the Opteron on it now, doesn't it? I don't know. I have to go through and see what I put on what. Uh, it has a nice, big old beefy... Whew. Excuse me, it's like almost 3 a.m. Uh, it has a nice beefy Dell uh, screamer inside, uh, PDM, PWM, but it's a different type of PWM. It's like the first type, so it's got black and red where it needs to be, but it's got the PWM sensor uh, wire where the fan speed sensor uh, wire should be, uh, hence why I did this little hack, and I just chopped and cut off the line for that, so I didn't have to make any modifications to this uh, fan wire here, which goes to a 60 millimeter fan, which I pulled out of an old uh, Penny 4 IBM Net Vista box, which is in the corner of the box over on this end uh, for, I guess, heat exhaust. Uh, not going to go into it. Uh, got your button cell which is still uh, holding a charge I did take it out I did have to reset the clock blah 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 let's go on it's got a 300 watt something like a 250 or 310 watt power supply that's kind of dinky I'm thinking about replacing it with my Antec 350 that I was taken out of 
my old uh, Antec uh, box that had the Athlon XP, then the uh, uh, Athlon 64 X2, then the Dual Opteron. So I'm going to just take that out. Uh, and that was replaced with the OCZ one at one point or another. It's in a box someplace in the garage. I gotta go get it, clean it out, and make sure it still works. So without further ado, I am gonna at least power it on. So you can see that it powers on within the last uh, half a minute that I have left now. Uh, and thanks to that stupid hack there on my VJ cable, uh, everything doesn't really show up the right color on the screen. However, it does work. You can tell that paying for 3 gigahertz, it's got 2.5 gigs, 2 megs cache SRAM patch, blah blah blah. And yeah, I need a BIOS update for the CPU, which sucks. And I will see you next time.